Hi, this is Ashley and I'm here for my very first book review. What? So I was really lucky and I got sent an advanced copy of Ten Men by Christopher Golden. And I'm going to go ahead and do my very first review on this book for my booktube channel and hopefully you guys like it and I will be doing more book reviews in the future. So let's go through some of the basics. The title is Ten Men. The author is Christopher Golden. The release date is June 16th, 2015. The genre is science fiction, and I would say as a subgenre, it's actually like a military thriller sci-fi. What it's about. It's set in a future where the U.S. has essentially become the world cops, going around trying to make sure that there's peace in the world, and they're doing this by using these robots that are colloquially called Ten Men. These ten men are essentially remote infantry that are beamed into these robotic bodies that then can go out and do what they need to do. And obviously some people are not too fond with that stance. So they've decided to finally figure out a way to take down the ten men so that they don't have to just stop the U.S. from policing everybody, but they can just end it all together. And this results in a bit of a worldwide catastrophe and we are following a group of characters that are trying to cope with dealing with this big event that happens and what they're going to do about getting to safety and surviving and figuring out what is actually going on with the Tin Men. Overall I gave it a 3.5. It dragged out a bit in the beginning but once it picked up it got really really good. I enjoyed it. There were a whole bunch of different characters to get with. I wish we got a little bit more in depth with some of those characters but at the end of the day I did enjoy it and if you're somebody who likes a military thriller, if you like science fiction set in the future that's actually really grounded and isn't too far ahead then this is the kind of story that you would probably like. Also, if you like the falling out of post-apocalyptic situations, also, this is a good story for it. The story has a large cast of characters ranging from high, higher ranked uh, military personnel to lower ranked privates. And there's also political officials and there is a 17 year old girl thrown into the mix. So there's a little bit of everybody that you get to see a whole bunch of different perspectives and they're all mixed in together. I really did enjoy it. Um, you got 10 men, you got normal people, you got people that were working with 10 men, but they weren't in 10 men. And it ultimately, it felt like a good story with a whole bunch of different perspectives. So you're not just locked into seeing just one point of view. So that's it for the non-spoilery section. Since this book isn't actually out yet, I don't want to go into full spoilers, but I do want to talk a little bit more in depth about the characters, and there's a chance that it may spoil you a little bit about some of the characters and some of the things that happen, but like I said, this is, will be a little bit more spoilery, but it will not give away the story, so that way people who do want to read it when it does actually come out will be able to and I won't be just going ahead and just ruining everything for everybody. There were a number of characters in the story like I mentioned before it had a very very large cast. One of the characters was named Felix. He is actually the father of one of the ten men that we were following rather closely. Felix was a fantastic character. He was the insight to a lot of the political side of the everything even though he wasn't actually a politician himself I believe but you got to see everything regarding those political officials through Felix's eyes and as he's trying to move forward and push forward and actually get to his daughter because he knows that something's going on and I Felix was just a nice character you really felt for him almost right away I wish there was a little bit more but they did build him up very well. On the opposite side of that, there's a character named Alexa. She is actually the 17 year old that I mentioned earlier. Um, I wish she was a little bit more fleshed out. She reminded me a little bit of Nick from Great Gatsby where she was really observing the story. She fell into the background a lot. I will say that she did step up and do some other things and be an advocate every so often, but I wish that she was a little bit stronger. 
ultimately she just felt like she was constantly fading into the background and I wanted to get more out of her and see what she thought about the things going around her. It felt that unless it was touching one of two topics that she didn't really have much thoughts at all and I would sometimes forget that we were in her perspective when we were actually with Alexa specifically. Then there's Kate. Kate is a total bad ass. I absolutely loved her. The fact that she was also a black female protagonist was another plus for me. I just really enjoyed the way that she was built up. You got to learn a lot about her over the course of the book because she was one of the main characters. And she, she, there was just so many things. She was thrown into a commanding role and she took it with stride. She kept her team together. She kept people working. When people were at angry and fighting, she always found a way to make things work. She had a goal and she was gonna make sure that her men did it. I really enjoyed it. But the other part of her was that there was also this very deeply emotional part where she was struggling with her condition. She was struggling with the relationships that she was having with some of the other people. And she was struggling with whether she actually wanted to be a 10 minute or not. And it was just really interesting to watch her go through the, that journey. And I felt that she was probably the most fleshed out character in the entire book. There was also another character, Amy Bell, who was one of the soldiers, but she did not work in a Tin Man like many of the characters that we saw. And Amy was a nice change of pace because she showed a military side, but she was also really a techie. She was trying to figure things out. Really with her perspective, you started to see things unravel and you learned a whole lot about what was going on. And it was just really interesting to see her perspective. Um, like I said, she was just a really great change of pace in the story. And the perspective that we spent a large amount of time with was actually Danny. Danny's the first character that we meet and I wish that he had more pers personal growth, but he did move from one state to another state. So I will say that he did evolve some um, he was really fun. Um, if there was any character in this entire book, Danny was the fun one. Danny's the one that you'd want to hang out with, even if he's a bit cynical and he has some problems, but he's the kind of guy that you would want around, that you want to have your back because he's a good guy. Like I said, I'm not going to get into any more spoiler, spoiler stuff like that. I hope I didn't spoil anything. I was really trying not to. But I hope you enjoy Tin Men if you do go out and decide to read it. I enjoyed it and uh, based off of the ending, I'm hoping that there will be more because I'd be interested to see where the story progresses from here. Because while this definitely closed everything up, it definitely opened things up enough that I could see a future novel coming from this. And one final note, I kind of touched on this briefly, but this is an apocalyptic story that's not really hiding anything. They mention that in the Goodreads. Something happens and the world goes to shit and people have to deal with it. That's just how it is. But I just really enjoyed watching the journey. Um, I wish that we've had more of the latter half of the story that was a bit more action paced and moving and seeing the characters grow and go through different things than we did with the earlier stuff because it was a lot more dragging, a lot more bureaucracy, and it just wasn't as interesting. I found myself putting the book down a lot more in the beginning, but then once I hit midway, I didn't want to stop. I was reading it in massive chunks and only stopping because I had to go do something. So I really wish there was more of the latter than the former, but ultimately at the end of the day, I enjoyed the story a whole lot. And that is my review for Tin Men by Christopher Golden. Like I mentioned before, it is releasing on June 16th, 2015. So if you like military science fiction, go check it out. Bye.